Help me, Jesus. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, I'm trying to calm down because I just saw the show that people was talking about on Facebook. And at first I was like, no, nah, not, no, nah, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that. They wouldn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't do that. I know they wouldn't do that, you know. But they did it. They, they, they didn't did it. So me and my inquisitive self, we go over to TLC. Now, mind you, TLC is the same company that makes TV shows about polygamy. Now, I have my debates about polygamy as well. You know, um, if we're on, if, if we're talking spiritual here, I have my debates about that. And if you're talking natural, then I also have my debates about that. But naturally, well, I won't get into that. But they they make shows about polygamy. And so I should that should have tipped me off right there. So now I'm watching the show, and I, mind you, I was already upset because prior to having known about this show, Dietrich had came out with a movie that I really totally despised. I couldn't even sit through a whole half an hour of because his little wannabe worldly self. You know, if you if you feel some type of way about me, I really don't really care. But this is how I feel: is that you know you are a gospel singer. You are a gospel singer. A gospel singer sitting there on stage with two probably worldly women that are of the world, gyrating, singing, talking about you gonna be in trouble. What? Excuse you? I, I, I'm trying to figure out. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, trying to help. Help me understand. Somebody help me understand, please. What is the world coming to? Tell me why. Some people in the church. Now, now, mind you, I'm about to. The church. It's supposed to be like marriage. It's supposed to be sacred. Not everybody needs to see everything that you're doing. Like the marriage bed is supposed to be. It's supposed to be sacred. You're not supposed to be out here showing people what you do and the tools that you use for sex. You're not supposed to be doing that. Now, what? What makes you think, honestly, what makes you think that you can go out here and put your life on display like you're not supposed to be doing and thinking people are not going to be like, mm, be judging you and be thinking worse about you than they probably already were? What makes you think that in any way, fashion, shape, or form that this honey right here, this right here is okay? Please tell me, somebody, I, I may not be seeing right here and this right or something i may be a little bit too deep for myself but please somebody let me know where in the world in carmen san diego is this okay where is this okay tell me where this is holy tell me where this is righteous tell me where the lord is 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 magnified or glorified in this where is it i don't see it number one why would you exploit the church why would you exploit yourselves number one why would you let the world of all things of all people of all things, why would you let the world into your sacred, supposed sacred life? Everything does not need to be shown to the world. There's enough things out there that is that is demonic that the world sees already. They do not. You're supposed to bring people to Christ. You're not supposed to be sitting here. Now, now, when I saw, let, let me let me stay on topic. You're not supposed to be out here showing them how to be ratchet or you're not supposed to be out here showing them, you know, um, what's that show that came out? How you living. You know what I mean? Like, it's supposed to be sacred. And I have an attitude. I have a true attitude. Everybody don't need to know what your life is, is like. Why would you do this? Why would you exploit yourself? Why would you come down to the world's level? And exploit yourself. I don't know if the church was out of money, if you need money, if God didn't bless you with enough, or if you live beyond your means to where you couldn't afford certain things. Why? I, I, that, why? Can somebody tell me why? I know you're thinking like, what are you talking about? Why would you put a your church, your life, that's between you, your husband, and God. That ain't between the world. You, what kind of mess are you What the devil? I'm yelling right now because I'm highly upset. I'm highly upset about, what, I don't know what season people are living in. I don't know what season this is. You know, I don't know if Jesus is getting ready to crack the sky, if y'all want to act a fool, you know, so, 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 um, y'all can go somewhere else. 
But and I'm probably gonna get talked about about this, but I really don't I, I really don't care. I'm upset because there are people in the kingdom. They're lowering their standards and they're letting, you know, the I wanna say the world get to them. They're they're letting, you know, um the world in on things that should be sacred. Nobody needs to know your business. I don't know if if, if you didn't read the Bible right or, or what, but that's plainly what it says. We're living in a day and a time where it's just not safe. Like I'm Jesus. And y'all may be thinking I'm too deep or I'm too holier than thou or whatever have you, but some things my eyes just you know, some people not just my eyes, but just eyes in general do not need to see that they call it a demon box for a reason and and you're proving it this is that's why i don't turn on my tv this is a demon box for real because you're saying that you're you're this is the example that i got from this is that of course you know you're saying that you know what you're doing is okay you're telling you're telling little kids you know uh, this is how you know this is how we act this is how it's okay you're not saying you know um you're not saying this is what not to do you're just saying this is it is what it is no it's not what it, this is not how the bible instructs for you to be this is not how the bible instructs for you to live you, you shouldn't be having all this stuff of course the, you know being in the church you know god blesses you with certain things but you should not be living beyond your means. If you cannot afford it, you shouldn't have it. Point blank, period. You shouldn't have it. So you, you know, the lady in there that's talking about, you know, uh, we had to close down the church and it hurt me. That's your fault. Nobody told you to go buy all this stuff and you couldn't afford it. No, that is your fault. Because you wouldn't pray it up. You wouldn't fast. You didn't hear, clearly you didn't hear the voice of God. God didn't come down to you and say, oh, thus saith the Lord, um, go buy this $2 million house. Thus saith the Lord, go buy this Beamer, this Bentley, this Benz. Get, get your life. Like, get your life. Like, seriously, these people that are living on this type of, I don't know what realm you living on. I don't. I don't know what realm, what planet, because obviously it ain't the spirit. Like, seriously. But, there's certain things you don't do. And this right here just wasn't if you wanted if you wanted to um show um show the world, you know, if you wanted to make a TV show, you should have, you know, we understand that being a first lady is not easy. It's going to be hard. That's why not everybody's a first lady. Not everybody can do everything because it takes a certain level of um discipline. Because had, had, had everybody been, uh, uh, God had given everybody the gift to be a first lady, then everybody would have been the first lady. God didn't discipline them to be a first lady. But I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't dare put my life on display like that. I wouldn't dare do it unless I was encouraging somebody, unless I was counseling somebody. You know, make a show about that. Make a show about pastors' wives counseling other men and women of God and you know all of that don't sit there and say oh this is my gym or this is the new and this is this is what God is blessing you with and things like that why 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 are you doing it I, I'm upset and already from from the looks of it there's this one couple that's gonna be a problem I can see it right now that 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 that's gonna make I feel like in at the end of the day it's going to be bad for them you know what I mean I don't, I don't think everybody wants to know everything about your life. You know what I mean? I don't want to come up watch. That's not what I turn on my TV for. I don't turn on my TV to see you putting handcuffs talking about something. This going to be the best nine minutes of your life. What? I don't need to know that. This, this, is, this, this is wrong. This is wrong on so many levels. And I don't know if anybody's going to agree with me about it. But I, I don't really comment on anything. I don't really comment on any of these dumb shows that people have on TV. That are, you know, in the world and of the world that, you know, certain people should not watch. Those are, you know, those TV shows that, you know, people in the kingdom shouldn't watch. Like I said, those are, you know, lessons from them. But you already know if you're in Christ and you're a PK or you're, you know, uh, if you're, you're a pastor or whatever, you know, like, okay, God ain't in that. God ain't in that. God is not in you exploring your life. God is not in that. How is, how, how is you putting your life on TV um, you showing handcuffs and your husband telling uh, you that this going to be the best nine minutes. How is that going to bless me? How is that going to get me through? How is that How is that encouraging to me? Can you tell me? Can I get an amen somebody? Can I don't hear nobody talking to me out there. Like seriously. You that's in here with handcuffs, honey. Mm. 
that that's sacred. That's between you, the man, and you, the woman, and God. Threefold court, not millions of people. You, you that man talking about this gonna be the best <laughs> best nine minutes of your life, honey. You just told you you what? How you gonna tell your sex life right there? It only take you nine minutes. That should have been left up to the imagination. That should have been number one. That right there should have been left in your four four walls of a bedroom. You leave that where it's at. You don't. I don't need to know that. That is for you three. Okay, and I probably probably because God said there's no place that you can hide from him. I'm pretty sure that even God don't even want to. You know. Um. Yeah. So that right there, I had an issue with that too. You don't sit here and talk about your sex life on TV. You don't do that. The world does that. You're not you're 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 in the world, but you're not of the world. You're not supposed to be of the world. And right now, you guys right there, you're acting like you're you're in the world, okay? And of it. And that right there was not that's not good. And y'all that's thinking it's funny and, and it's not funny. How is that blessing me if you tell me about your little dirty se- I don't need to know that. I understand the whole thing about uh, the man teaching his daughters about sex. And things like that. Now, that in itself was wrong. The way he went about that, I had so many questions. Like, okay, why did you do that? And there there were certain parts missing from the way he was explaining it. And it's like, if I had a daughter or a son, they would not get that version <laughs> of me teaching. The First of all, no, there is no talking about sex. You want to know about boys? No, you go to your room. No, no. What? Do I hear something about? No, no boyfriends. How old are you? You should not be dating. And if I catch you dating, we're going to have some problems. That, simple as that. No. Basically, basically, he gave his kids permission to have sex. Honestly, why would you give your kids permission to have sex? That's another issue that I have. You don't give your kids... Honey, please. You're supposed to teach your women to, to wait on her bow ass. You're supposed, that's the, you're supposed to teach her to wait for that. You're not supposed to tell her, well, if you're going to do it, then do it like this. Are you, are you, are you okay? You know? Did, did you hear from God when, when are, are you okay? Knock, knock. Is anybody home? Seriously. That, that was not the right way to do that. That was not the right way to do that. You don't, you don't basically tell your kids it's okay. If you're going to do a show like this, and make it so that, you know, you're counseling young women, you know, you're, you're preaching or something, preaching the word of God, you know, you're showing more of you. Uh, reading the Bible or you bringing souls to Christ. You, I don't want to see you being ratchet on TV. Instead of putting emphasis on your life. Put emphasis on how to bring people bring people in. You know, um, show how your church is, um, um, you know, saving souls, healing and delivering. That's what you should make a show about. Touch and, and, and lay hands and stuff like that. Show about the spiritual gifts and, and, and different ministries and how you helping people in Africa and how you, you know, healing AIDS and healing this and healing cancer and causing deaf ears to be open. And <laughs> Don't get me started because I will go there. I will go there. How you, how you, how God is leading you to, you know, give people the Holy Ghost and, 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 and re- receiving the gift of tongues and things like that's what I want to see. I want to see a great, um, a great uh, God being glorified and, 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 and people submitting to God and people just being worship. I'm really into worship. I want to see a show where people are worshiping. I might as well have turned on this 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 demon show, uh, Housewives of Atlanta, if I wanted to, you know, if I, if I knew that this was going to be like that. I understand it's not all peaches and cream. I understand it's hard. But we as people in Christ need to hold ourselves to a certain standard. That's all I'm saying. That's all. That's all I was trying to say is that we need to hold ourselves to a certain standard. Let's pray. Because I don't know what the world is coming to. But it's grabbing a hold. It seems like the devil is running around and he's just grabbing a hold to just, just end in everything that he can. I plead the blood against any and everything that would try to come against the, 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 the move of God. Honestly, because this just ain't it. So I'm going to go. You guys be blessed. Take care. I love you as always. I love you like Christ of the church. No more, no less. And I'm out. Lord Jesus.